Doctors working on the front line of the COVID-19 crisis say they are becoming increasingly concerned about the long-term impact the virus may have on patients. Up to 30% of those who have been in intensive care need dialysis. Some have developed serious respiratory conditions or heart problems. So while the NHS appears to be coping with current demand, new pressures could be on the horizon for the health service. Specialists in Dundee have begun a Scotland-wide research project to monitor patients in the months after COVID. They invited our health correspondent Lisa Summers along to find out more. Okay, it's been a fortnight since Thomas Moroni was admitted to Ninewells Hospital. He needed ventilation in intensive care. You see that first, first five, six days, man. Obviously this eating, sleep and getting med 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 medication. I don't know what was going on. Now he's an award for those recovering from COVID-19. My lungs in, in the morning, I'm tired a lot, eh? I just really tired and I cough a lot, basically. And that's it. Once it gets start going again, it's OK, like, yeah. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine, yeah. Patients on this ward have been through a lot and could face challenges in the future. Everyone in my street, everyone in my area thinks that we'll never get COVID, we'll never get it. And of course, we've all got it now, that's the problem. As more survive COVID, there are early signs that the road to recovery might not be straightforward for some, particularly those admitted to critical care. Respiratory consultant Professor James Chalmers shows us scans of one of the COVID patients treated at Ninewells. And you can see now that there's much more shadowing at the bottom of the lungs. You can see air looks black, fluid looks white, and the bottoms of his lungs have filled with fluid really quite dramatically from the previous image. Uh, and that's him developing what we call acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS, which is the, the most feared complication of COVID. He's leading a Scotland-wide study to investigate the long-term effects of COVID. We're concerned in the respiratory profession that we're seeing the start of a new lung condition here, which is post-COVID lung disease, that a small proportion of patients will be left with chronic lung conditions as a result of COVID um, and will require long-term treatment. So we'll need to have the clinics and the specialists to look after those patients and provide them with long-term rehabilitation and care. It's not just the lungs that can be affected. Evidence has been emerging that there can be long-term harm to the kidneys. We're seeing that patients um, are suffering from moderate to severe acute kidney injury in about 20 to 30 percent of patients and then 30 percent of patients who are admitted to the intensive care unit for COVID infection are requiring dialysis. So the numbers are much bigger than we initially envisaged based on the data coming out of China. A month ago, we visited these wards as staff were bracing themselves for a surge in coronavirus cases. Today, it's a much calmer picture. The peak of this virus has passed for now. The challenges for the future and what may be the long-term cost of coronavirus. Lisa Summers reporting Scotland, Nine Wells.